50,000 years ago, our ancestors entered what is now Germany. But they were in for a surprise. Germany was not empty. Another line of hominids that had left Africa over 250,000 years earlier was now the master of Europe. And although they had brains fully as large as modern humans, Neanderthal did not survive this contact. They were soon extinct. By 35,000 years ago, our ancestors were creating art and other treasured objects. Carvings from this time can be delicate and expertly done. Cave paintings, as well as carvings, were sometimes symbolic and sometimes representative of actual people or animals. Paintings often depicted the prey they were hunting. In some cases, dangerous animals such as lions or woolly rhinoceros. Other paintings may have represented magical or imaginary creatures. By 25,000 years ago, our ancestors had trekked north from Southeast Asia and east from the steppes in Siberia. The migration converged at the Bering Strait, connecting Asia with North America. Until recently, archaeologists believed that humans reached North America about 15,000 years ago. But new evidence places our ancestors crossing the narrow land bridge into North America between 20 and 25,000 years ago. Advancing ice from the north smothered the central plains and forced the migration down the west coast into South America. As the ice retreated, they spread back northward. There's evidence of a settlement in a rocky shelter on the Ohio River in Pennsylvania that was inhabited more than 16,000 years ago. By 8,000 years ago, humans had mastered herding and other skills. Agriculture, metallurgy, civilizations sprang up around the world and included Babylon, Persia, Egypt, Greece, America, India, Samaria, and China. From those civilizations to our own is a matter of history. One thousand years ago, Chinese astronomers observed the first supernova in modern history. Today, we see its remnants as the Crab Nebula. 130 years ago, Dmitry Mendelia arranged the elements that are created in the hearts of stars into today's periodic table. About 100 years ago, Thomson discovered the electron, Rutherford discovered the nucleus, and Bohr put together the first detailed description of an atom. About 80 years ago, physicists concluded protons existed inside the nucleus. And about 70 years ago, Chadwick discovered the neutron. About 30 years ago, Murray Gell-Mann theorized the existence of quarks. Existence of the final quark cousin, predicted by his theory, was confirmed in 1995. Penzi and Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave background, and 10 years ago, an experiment detected ripples in the thermal nature of that background, thus confirming inflation. 
the universe was created in an enormous explosion some 13.7 billion years ago. Before that explosion, there was no time, no space, no energy, and no matter.